What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mountain Peak Paracord. A little bit of a different video, and the reason I say that is we're doing a little bit of a review. So before we begin, would you guys do me a favor, hit that subscribe and like button. With that said, let's begin. So the reason I'm reviewing this uh, wallet because it actually has something to do with paracord and it may not be much but i just thought it deserved a video of its own so shout out to dango products um i really appreciate the craftsmanship in this i think the retail price is about 80 but you can get it for about 40 on uh, amazon a little bit on the pricey side but um in my opinion it's definitely worth it so let's get into this review so you get this really nice metal slash aluminum case and it's got like hinges and on it and it's got hinges on it and everything so when we go to open up you get your wallet in there you get like this little paracord slash snake knot lanyard let's go ahead and check out the wallet They use what they call a rail system, and that's what these little tabs here are called, um, or are for. They are a part of the rail system, and they're on both sides. So it's really nice. They have a leather version and like this uh, D-Tex material. I chose this just because I like it. It's a lot cleaner. And then you get your money clip, of course. And then you also get just like a little thank you card. instruction card I like how to use it and stuff it's really nice because like even the bottom the bottom is padded so it's like and this is actually like metal case so I'm gonna set these aside here and of course you get your little paracord key fob that you can just like hook and loop through here just go ahead and try that. The nice thing is I have my pick with me today. So we'll throw that in there. Make a little cow's hitch. There you go. It's a good, uh, good thing to help you pull out of your pocket. Um, it's super nice. So I got some cards over here. So, go ahead and you slide your cards in. It says I could fit five, I fit four, um, and a lot of the reviews I've seen on this wallet say they fit four pretty well. Um, so, and, and they're, they don't come out easy too, they're, like when you're shaking them. I mean, you could hear it shaking around, but they're very, very secure. I know a lot of people don't trust it, and I was kind of skeptical the first time I saw it, but I like it, and you can see those little rail lock tabs there that really hold it in place. I'm like, I'm going to use this for example. This has a plastic cover on the inside um, that really protects it. Let's push that back in. Um, so we'll go ahead and pretend this is our ID. So it definitely fits in there. It seats in there well. You go ahead and throw your money clip on there. It's very, very, very nice wallet. So, um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I will throw a link down in the description. Um, but the paracord aspect is, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw a cobra knot on this one. This is just a snake knot. So, let's get our materials. So, I got my length of paracord and I kind of want to match the length of this, to be honest, because my opinion, it's like the perfect length. Um, probably about three or four feet, maybe five. Um, and then the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just find the midpoint of your strand. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then 
then you want to go ahead and flip it upside down. And this is where we're going to match it. So... We... Actually, it should be like this, because, you know... So we're going to go ahead and start on this side. So go ahead and you're going to do our loop method. Come over the strand behind and through the loop on the left. We do our best to keep this length as perfect as possible. Um, Just the length, which is completely fine. Mm, close enough. And pull that out a little bit. And then we're just gonna start our cover knot. So we got this little try this so it's easier. We got this little notch right here, and anywhere there's a little notch is where you're gonna start. So it's just our notch on the right. We're just gonna do our traditional up. So we're going to right over our base, left over right, under base, through the loop on the right. And just go ahead and pull tight. And then our notch is back on the left. So it's on the left now. So we're going to start on the left. Left over base, right over left, under base, through the loop on the left. So do a set one more time. Notch is on the right. Right over base, left over right, under base, through the loop on the right. Back on the left again. Left over base, right over left, under base, through the loop on the left. And then we're going to continue probably to about, right to about here. And then I'll show you what to do next. So once you have weaved your cover knot, we're gonna go ahead and snip and send. So now I don't have my butane lighter because I need more butane. So we're gonna be using this Walmart 6.99 special. So let's go ahead and just get this cut, snip, and now we singe. It's a little bit windy, so I'm hoping we can change this. I'm going to get my butane later. Two hours later. Okay, so I've come to no avail. We don't have any more butane, but. Kingsford. Boom. Get this trash out of here. Alright, so let's get our scraps out of here. Now, try and sense this. Nice there. Go ahead and spread them out. I gotta stick with the Cobra Knot just because it's more traditional. I, I just love the Cobra Knot, they're always so nice. Let's go ahead and get our... And if I didn't mention the name of this wallet before, um, editor, throw the name in. Um, I apologize. So we'll go ahead and use our pick. This one's just harder to put on because the paracord for the other lanyard was a little more uh, looser. Go ahead and throw our cover knot through here. There we go. Cover knot is on. And it's a great little thing to help pull out of your pocket. I definitely prefer this more. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Dango's products. Um, 
link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and see you guys next time.